Hi guys, Evil Deer here. So I wanted to today share this interesting um, little story that happened to me and a friend probably about a year back. I was just randomly thinking and it just came back into my head. Anyway, it's a story related to Esperanto and how me and my friend had a little bit of fun with it on a train. Now, for most of you who don't know, Esperanto is just a created language that me and my friend both speak. Um, it has no national homeland. It was made about 150 years ago. It's just an artificial language that has hung around since. Anyway, so this is a story. So me and my mate were on a train and we're riding back from, uh, I think it was just some park that we were hanging out at, I can't remember. Anyway, we're speaking away in Esperanto, having a good time, joking about different things. I think it was probably an episode of The Simpsons or something at the time. Now, to give you a little bit of backstory, we had um, several times up until that point been asked what, what is this language we're speaking and we would explain, we'd say it's Esperanto, it's a created language, blah blah blah. And there's usually one or two responses when you tell someone this. The first response is, well that's interesting, and then that's about it. And the second response is, and the more common one, is why would you speak that? Why don't you go learn something useful like Klingon? You know, suddenly everyone becomes an expert on created languages when uh, they hear that we speak this language trying to replace English, which we're not, we're just speaking it. Anyway, so here's the story. So we're sitting on this train, we're chatting away and we're having some fun. And this guy sitting opposite of us, he's obviously been listening to the conversation, he's been interested. So he randomly just butts in, he's like, hey guys, sorry, um, what language are you speaking? And me and my mate, we didn't want to go through this all over again, so we decided to have some fun. We actually agreed on this as a joke beforehand, um, but we didn't actually think we would be playing out the joke within 10 minutes of making that joke. God, that's probably really confusing for you. Anyway, so here's the story. So he butts in, he goes, what, what language are you speaking? And we go, oh, we're speaking Esperanto. He obviously hasn't heard of it before. He goes, so what, what language is that? Is it like Spanish or something? And we go, no, no, no. Esperanto is this um, language from this little country in Eastern Europe. And he goes, really? I've tra you know, I've traveled through Europe. I've never heard of this, uh, this language. Oh, what's the name of the country? And then we're, we're like, uh, it's from Moyosuio. Yes. Now, for those who don't speak Esperanto, Moyosuio is a combination of two words. Moyosa, which means cool, and uio, which is the uh, ending for like a country. So Moyosuio is like cool country. You know, where all the cool kids hang out. Mm. Anyway, so we're like, yeah, we're from Moyosuio. And he's like, never heard of it. Like, how can I not have heard of it? And we're like, well, you know, it doesn't actually exist anymore after World War II with the fighting between the Russians and the Nazis. It was actually this little province of the country and it was destroyed and all the, the speakers from there kind of just like, you know, spread out across the world into like this diaspora type of thing, kind of like what the Jewish people did. And he's like, wow, that is really fascinating. And he wanted more. He kept asking us. So we're like, oh, we need to cre create information about this supposed country. And he's like, so how come I've never read about this place? And we're like, well, you know, when the, the, the Americans came in and the Russians came, they divided up Germany. They wanted to, you know, kind of heal the wounds of the war. So they kind of just wiped out all the information about this country. And... <laughs> He's like, so what, there's no records? And we're like, no, no, man, they burned everything, all records, it was gone. It was only a small province of the country, so it was easy to hide. And he's like, wow, this is really fascinating. And he gets up, grabs his phone, and he starts getting on Wikipedia, and we're like, oh! <laughs> he didn't look up Esperanto, funny enough. He tried to look up Moyo Suyo, and he's like, yeah, man, there's nothing on here. And we're like, yeah, man, it's one of those, like, Illuminati type of things, you know? They just disappear, it's gone. So anyway, he's fully on full. He, he completely believes it, and we get off the train. So we left him probably stumped enough to tell some story to his wife. Now, the reason I want to tell you this story is, let's see if we can continue on this joke. So if you are ever in one of those situations where you just don't want to clarify what Esperanto is, just say that you're from Moyosuio. You know, this country that was from, well, oh, sorry, I almost dropped my phone. This country in Eastern Europe that was completely destroyed after World War II. You never know, in a hundred years, people might actually start to believe the lie, kind of like the moon landing thing, well, no, nah, like the moon landing is a real thing, but people believe that it's not. So they'll believe the lie that this country exists, and you never know, we might actually get a country out of it, because they'll feel sorry for us. Anyway, so that's my story. It just randomly popped into my head, and I just wanted to remind my mate, Kaya, um, so I'll probably tag him in this, and we can have a good giggle about it. But yes, continue on the lie. Anyway, so I hope to see you all in the next video. If not, you know the rules, I will find you, I will hunt you down, possibly do bad things to you. So have a great day.